All right, I've already gotten two requests to do this since I bought this yesterday. So, uh, welcome to Scott's Quick Tour Review. I do this for my friends, and it somehow became a phenomenon whenever I did the Elite Series Ray. Uh, today, I'm looking at something I just bought yesterday. Actually, this morning, I just woke up, and already my friends are like, do a video review, do pictures, make pictures. You know, it's like, okay, I'll do that, cool. All right, um, so this is what I got. I got the uh, Samurai Darth Vader, which is really cool because I've always liked Darth Vader, and... I've always liked Japanese stuff, especially like ninjas, samurai, um, shogun warriors, things like that. And uh, this blends both of them. And originally it was very, he was supposed to look more, not like this samurai, but more samurai looking. That's where they got the idea for Darth Vader is what I've read. Um, I also got the C-3PO, but we'll do that later. Um, maybe when I wake up a little bit more. Just want to get this and make sure I get it in there today. First off, he's got two pieces of tape I'm going to cut open. All right, um, very nice box. The box is pretty, it's matted. It's one of those boxes I probably won't throw away. All right, wow, he's actually bigger than I thought he was gonna be. Um, I, I brought some other figures to kind of compare him to their size. And you can see right away, well, I mean, I guess in context, he's always been taller than everybody else, so that would be fine. Um, I bought him to go with this series, sort of, but I mean, it doesn't matter if he goes with it or not, he's still awesome. See, I was afraid that C-3PO was going to be too big as well. And he kind of looks like he's, I don't know, maybe it's just because he's skinner. He looks taller. All right. So, um, here he is. And, uh, gosh, it comes like in an iPhone-type case. The case is beautiful. and It comes with some instructions right here. But I didn't buy it for the box. Although I'm not going to throw the box away. It's too pretty. I hope my video does not stop. Oh. You know, I, one of my friends told me I should turn it into airplane mode when I'm doing this, and I totally forgot to do that. Oh, well. He comes with extra sets of hands. Um, gripping hands. These are fist hands, the force hands, and a gun hand, which I guess... The lightsaber is really cool. It's a, a, a lightsaber that's also a sword, kind of like a katana. And then there's the lightsaber without the, uh, well, I mean, uh, ignited and unignited. Let me put it that way. All right, uh, let's see if I can get him out without having a cutting thing. Oh, okay, good. Nothing cut. He's just got some protection around his skirt. Okay, please don't scream on the radio, please. All right, so once again, size comparison. Here he is beside of a clone trooper. So he's not really quite in scale with them. But it's not terribly out of scale. It's not like he's a 12 inch. All right, he's got articulation out the wazoo he's made by bandai they want to give us all the um power rangers and some what else do they do is this rebel tech no it's movie realization see this is rebel tech that's why i'm like there's so many companies that do star wars it's weird i always thought like kyoto would do it or rebel tech would do it or bandai does this so i don't know maybe they just do different things all right so his articulation on his legs um his feet, they have like, almost like Rebel Tech joints, but they're not ball, or they're not click, 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 you know what I'm talking about. His feet are on a ball type of joint, it swivels this way. I'm sure if I wanted to, I could take it apart. I'm not really wanting to, because that makes them more loose over time. Um, but his feet do have the articulation like this. And since that's like a swivel here and a swivel here, you could probably do some other things, like make it turn this way and then pull it down and turn it back. You want to make him stand like wide, you know, wide legged apart and have his feet flat. Oh, it does it anyway. Wow. Okay, he's got some crazy awesome articulation. You don't even have to make that part, I don't know if you can even see it, that part's still making him go forward and backwards, but it also inside his foot, there's something that makes it go sideways as well. That's crazy. That, I mean, okay, I bet it's like, it's going up like this. It's not going down, it's going up. Okay, yeah. He's got some amazing, uh, really good articulation. Okay. The detailing is beautiful on it. You can see, I don't know if you can tell in the video. I mean, the videos are never as good as I think they would be. Um, he's, he's just, yeah. I mean, there's, I don't even know what to say. There's like so much good paint on here. It's nicely detailed. The carvings are nice. All right. He's got a joint that's hidden by his skirt right there. The legs go out and forward. Wow, he can kick you. Don't mess with Darth Vader. He'll kick you or he can play a good game of kickball. And uh, the arms go out and forward. And yeah, it's just like all over great articulation. I mean, um, the elbows are double jointed. His wrist, you know, they do like this. And I'm sure you can make it where 
if you bend it down and pull it back, you can make it where you can raise his sword up in the sky. All right, oops, sorry. All right, let's see. Let's take a look at his face if we can get it on here. Like it's black and the light's behind him, so I'm not sure. Well, there's a light overhead, but yeah. The, the head looks awesome. He's got like a samurai helmet. Let me show you from the back. I don't know if the video is going to pick all this up because it's so much good detailing, but it's all dark. It's very dark. Um, his samurai helmet goes down. It also has some articulation, I guess, you can give some so you can actually turn his head, which is clever. I mean, especially people like not think about that and then it gets stuck. But nope, they think about everything. So you can turn his head left to right easily. I guess you can do like poltergeist and go 360. But I don't like doing that to my figures. I think of them as being alive for some reason. That's why Toy Story spoke to me. All right. I like the little symbol in this helmet there. Wow, is it picking it up? I feel like it's so out of focus. Well, let me move it back so you can get a better look at it. But the symbol on his head is the uh, the uh, rebel, not rebel, um, the Empire symbol, which is really cool. And it's on his skirt right here. His skirt, actually there's two skirts. There's an overskirt, and there's like a little skirt that's attached to his legs. So it's on that as well. And his cape is, uh, it's not, it's soft, but it's not incredibly soft. It's not rubbery. Like these are, well, these are about the same material. This is a little bit more pliable. But uh, there's, it's plain on the back. Oh, actually there's a little hole that it goes into. So I guess you can pull it off. I don't really want to. I, I feel like if I pull things off, then it makes it loose and it makes it where it won't go back in. His mouth. Look at that mouth. I, I don't know if you can see it, but it's not closed and it's not. It looks like teeth. It looks really scary. I mean, he looks almost like a zombie or something terrifying from a nightmare. Which is what he should be. He should be terrifying. Alright, so once again, articulation is amazing off the chart. Uh, here's him with his, you know, if I, if I had some Stormtroopers handy, put him with the Stormtroopers. I bet he'd fit in with the Elite Series nicely. Do I have a handy Elite Series? No, of course I do not. Of course I do not have a handy Elite Series. Here's him with a 110 scale. And here's a recent Samurai. You know, oh, okay, they could be buddies. They're the same, same height, actually. Weird. Can you see? Yeah. Yeah, they're the same height. This is one of the figures from that WWE series. But, um, yeah, he's a bit less detailed. Way more colorful. Kind of fits in with the 110 scale, R2, whatever that uh, Astromecha had. The one was the magnets. So, no, but he can actually stand with this scale. He would be great with the Black Series because, you know, Darth Vader is supposed to be taller. Supposed to be menacing. I just wish I could find my original Darth Vader. I couldn't find it this morning. Uh, but if I do, I'll post pictures on Instagram with him. He's in a box, and I put all, I have like all three of the real movies, the original movies, and these little tins that had figures with them. Because they fit the six inch figures perfectly, and I don't know what I did with them after I put them in there. I remember putting them in a safe place. <sighs> this is what happens when you have too many toys. Well, anyway, um, there you go, friends that asked me for this. Uh, Daniel, what do you think? Do uh, you think it's worth $95? Because I, I was like, I've always wanted it and ever since I've seen these. I want the, the fat one and the, the Stormtrooper ones. But I was like, if I get it and then I get it through the mail and I, something breaks, then I have to send it back. And I just, expensive things through the mail just really irritate me. Um, what do you think? Do you think it's worth 95? I think so. I think it's a good buy. All right. Well, uh, thank you for watching. May the force be with you.